game there. Uh, but we're concentrating on the semi between uh, Matsuyama and Shida of Japan and Purdy Tan, Tina Muralitharan of Malaysia. They're the number three seeds. Japanese are the number one seed. So for once, the draw's actually worked out. That all South Korean semi, as I mentioned, is uh, currently happening on court two. Actually, Beck and Leo, one game up at 9-3. Somewhat surprising, maybe. Officials on their way to the TV court. I'm sure a lot of these fans will be back tomorrow for the finals day. All five finals, of course, live from midday. Pearly Tan leading the uh, way for the Malaysian pair. Malaysian fans are in the uh, arena. Seven one on the head to head. So let's have a look at uh, this quartet. Nani Matsuyama, 24 years of age. Two in the world is their best ranking. They won their first title together back in 2017. It was the, the Smiling Fish International in Thailand, and they've won nine major titles together since. And that's an excellent record that this Japanese pair have got. Three titles they won last year. Uh, Matsuyama and uh, Shida, including two Super 1000 events, the Indonesian Open and the All England, and of course they're going to defend that later this week. Shida a year older than Matsuyama. Took home the Indian Open in January, so they've already got a prize this year. Beat uh, Chen and Jia in straight games. In the final, there's their progress this week. Untroubled. I think is probably the word, although Fukushima and Hirota took them very close in the first game. And with the fifth seeds. Purdy Tan, who's uh, just 22. That high ranking, by the way, uh, it was only a couple of months ago, Le less than that, actually. First trained with the national team at just 14 years of age. They've won four minor titles together, this pair. Their only win over Matsuyama and Shida, because you saw it was 7-1, the head-to-head, -head, was actually recently, quarter-final of the French Open last year. 
And uh, Mira Lither and, and Tan are the reigning Commonwealth Games champions. They won that title in Birmingham last summer. Beat Birch and Smith of England for the loss of only 13 points. Took them three games to get past uh, Matsumoto and Nagahara yesterday. Jörg High School of Germany is the umpire and he will be assisted by Awatef Galusi of Tunisia. Stand by then for the umpire introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, my right, Curly Tan, Tina Mularitaran, Malaysia. My left, Nami Mutayama, Shiroshida. Japan. Tina Mularitaya to serve to Shiro Shida. Lavo. Play. So here we go. Second uh, women's, women's double semi. The other reaching its conclusion on court two. Last meeting between the two was the semi-final of the India Open in January. The Japanese pair won relatively comfortably in straight games. Nice, nice deception. Three, one. Really clever that from Matsuyama. Caught uh, Tina Murlitha and totally flat footed there. I don't think we'll see her miss too many of those, uh, Chiharu Shida. Bit of good fortune always helps the cause. Supposed to balance out. I'm, I'm not convinced it it actually does. 
Some days it's your days, you, you get everything. Other days, nothing seems to go for you. Long by uh, quite a margin. Six, two. Play from Pearly Ten. Four, six. Five, six. So from six two down, back to six five, capitalizing on some errors from the Japanese pair and an excellent winner from Purdy Tan. There's another one. Six, oh. Service over. Seven, six. Very proactive from Matsuyama. Looks to me like they're not that interested in getting involved in long rallies. Any opportunity to take the initiative in the point. She did it perfectly there. Well, four points in a row to the Malaysians. Now four points in a row to the Japanese. And we've... We're almost at the mid-game interval. We've only played for five minutes. Oh. 11 6 it is then. 11, the Japanese six. pair comfortably in front at the mid-game break.
That's a good leave. Always been a very good judge of where the lines are, Jahar Rashida. Oh, that's big miss. Really should have made that, Matsuyama. Applause, you can hear us from the other court where the other women's doubles semi final has concluded. It's a little bit of drift in the hall at the moment. 15, Early 10 and Tina Mulitha and haven't quite got to grips with it. It's going to come back left to right, but nowhere near that much. Just a moment early on in this match where I just thought that Tana Mulithran might Mate. be really competitive. They still might in the second game, but we have to say, in all likelihood, the first game almost not uh, salvageable from here unless something extraordinary happens. That was wide. So just four points required now. Oh, Point out. I thought it was called out. Pretty sure it was. Yeah. Seventeen nine. You got the score correct now. That's much better from Tina Murlithron. Much more proactive. Just pushed it into the open space. Sometimes it's as easy as that. Point 
over 12, 18. Oh, it's a nice shot. Almost, a bit like in the last match, it almost feels like Matsuyama and Shida want to get the game over and done with rather than just concentrate on eking out these last few points. Got to be careful. Country mile ahead. If the Malaysians win the next couple of points, oh well. How to stop the momentum in one fell swoop? Have to serve from 1.15 meters or or lower, and um, service judge Awatef Galusi on the case there. That was casual, though, a little lazy. They're still not over the line in this uh, opening game, having dominated it from the start. Country mile ahead at one point. 18-10. Uh, now, just have to keep concentrating. Quite sure what's happening here. Got an issue with... Coach is talking and players are ready to serve. Right, yeah. okay. 15, so there'll 19. be a, a word with the Japanese coach, I think. Meanwhile. That was a bit of a present. Just look a little 19. bewildered at the moment. Even though they're 19 16 ahead. Malaysians, a little bit of hope, and that's gone well wide. And now they're very interested. Purdy Town and Tina Maritha, and the Japanese have completely 19. capitulated here. Still two points ahead, but must be wondering where the next one's going to come from. Look at this, complete reversal of what we saw, or what we've seen for probably 85% of this game. 18, 19. Got to be complacency, they just switched off. And it looks like they're going to get punished here if they can continue this momentum, the Malaysians. Another error, Malaysians favourites now for sure. To take this opener completely unexpectedly. They've just stayed calm. And here is a game point for Purley Town and Tina Muralitharam. What on earth is going on here? stops the rot, it may not stop them winning the game, but uh, maybe it took them being game point down to actually realise the seriousness of the predicament. Muralithan went sprawling, which is why the uh, mops are on.
20 all. Well, your guess is as good as mine where this game's going to go from here. Another chance for the Malaysians. It's just been bizarre this game. Eighteen eleven at one stage. And in some ways. Japanese are lucky we're still playing because they had that service uh, error. Otherwise, it would be all over already. Oh, shot. <laughs> Moment of uh, sheer class. Rather out of step with what we've seen from this pair in the last quarter of an hour. Service over. 21 all. Oh. Created the angle with a little flick of the wrist. Mulitan again slows it down. So now an opportunity for Matsuyama and Shida. 22, 21. Having saved two game points, this is their first. They're going to consider the flicker. Well, I bet she wishes she had now. The serve was, well, put them under pressure straight away. wide service over 23-22 second chance then for the Japanese You wouldn't say it was in any way convincing. They got over the line in the end, did Matsuyama and Shida. But if anything, Tan and Muralithran may now be convinced they can actually win this match. They've got to win the second game, that's the first step. First blood, just Matsuyama Shida.
Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Love to know exactly what was said to the Japanese pair during that uh, break because I don't imagine that much of it would have been complimentary. Yes, they won the opening game, but made such hard work of it. I think, as I said, in the process, Amira Litherin and Purdy Tan would have been given some confidence, albeit that the Japanese have won the first couple of points here. First game that could have been over in what, 15 minutes. Took considerably longer. <laughs> yeah, nice touch at the net there from Matsuyama. Well, if they did get a rocket during the interval, it's worked so far. And so they've come out firing, taken the first four points. And looked a lot less lackadaisical, a lot cleaner, a lot more focused. I think it was just pure complacency that uh, first game that allowed Purdy Tan and Tina Melithran to nearly snatch it. They should have done, probably. That's great defence. It was Matsuyama who applied the coup de grace, but Shida kept the pair in the rally. It was just as important. That was a great get. And just touched over into the space by uh, Matsuyama.
Once again, a casual touch at the net from Matsuyama. She was in a bit of pain then for a minute, she didn't. She's okay. It's all right now. <laughs> so it was punished mercilessly. Matsuyama to serve. And getting a cheap point from Mura Litherin. Nine, four, Oh, shot. Sure. I mean, you could argue the Japanese pair should probably have finished that off a little earlier, but when the chance came, the Malaysians accepted it with open arms. Well, just when they uh, threatened over. one of their Ten. comebacks, Seven. again, a wholly avoidable service error. But after the lead that they squandered in the first game, nearly squandered in terms of winning the game, uh, that's the armour and shield. I'm not sure what, what lead would be uh, enough in terms of guaranteeing second game and match. Terrific exchange at the net. And hammered away by Muelithruen for the point. That was over. Eight, ten. So a three-point lead at the mid-game interval. Whether it will be enough, another matter entirely. Time will tell.
So Matsuyama about to serve. Can they make this uh, three point advantage count? The second game, go on to clinch game and match. Not been vintage, uh, Matsuyama and Shida, by any means so far. Nearly left that. Maybe she should have. So often, so effective, isn't it? Straight down the middle. Works in golf, works in badminton too. Well, that was a present, really. Completely unguarded area of the court and just the right height for Matsuyama to guide it there. again and make no mistake about it Tana Mu and Itherin think they're right in this and I think they're right just because you saw in the first game Passage of play where the Japanese just basically went to sleep. Just frittered away points. It can happen once, it can happen again. Especially when you get a little bit of good fortune like that. like a case of history repeating 30. they've switched off again the Japanese Not sure that was off the middle of the rack, it doesn't matter. Close enough to the net that pretty much any contact 15, would have been a winner. Well, maybe I did a disservice. But even a three-point lead, you wouldn't necessarily say is guaranteed 15, to carry them across 12. the line.
long by quite a big margin. Remember, they were 18-10 up in the first game. That's Yama and Shida only won it 24-22. So, Tan and Muirithra won't be uh, hoisting the white flag just yet. Hey! Going to challenge that, and I, I think they have to. May well have caught the line, but with the score line as it is, why not ask Hawkeye to have a look? Flush on the line, but I still think it was worth asking the question. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 18-13. Play. Hey. Have it as gap to place that into. And move to within two points of victory and a place in tomorrow's 13. final. No problem at all for Sheila just to steer that into the corner of the court. And that brings up seven match points for the Japanese. 20, match point 13. That'll do it. 21-13. It doesn't quite tell the whole story because that first game could have gone either way. Tan and Muritan had a couple of game points, couldn't take them, having come back from 18-10. And the second game, they couldn't find that kind of a fight back. So the number one seeds are through, but not convincing at all. And the Koreans, I think, will fancy their chances of producing a shock tomorrow in the women's doubles final. So 24-22, 21-13, 41 minutes the match time, and Matsuyama and Shida safely through to tomorrow's showpiece match. We've got one more semi-final to bring you tonight. It's the second men's doubles, Koga and Saito of Japan. Uh, we'll take on the Korean pair, Choi and Kim. That comes up after some highlights.
if you have your phone to hand, you might want to take a photo of that QR code, and then you can start the process of getting the Badminton For You app, which has a host of information and all kinds of other goodies. Backstage pass access, latest videos, as well as point-by-point -point scoring and tournament